It's December 2014 and we're here at the John Hart Journey Station Replacement Project. BC Hydro awarded the contract to InPower BC in early 2014. They mobilized the site in spring 2014 and they've been working away on two underground portals. It's like a mining operation for the first 18 months to remove about 300,000 cubic meters of rock. That's enough rock to fill about 120 Olympic-sized swimming pools. But before we find out what's been happening, let's go and have a look at this innovative design. We're actually putting all this work underground. Uh, we're going to move the water intake over to the spillway dam, where it's going to pass into an underground tunnel about 90 meters below the surface. You can see this pink dashed line, that's where the tunnel is going to be. And it's going to come along here to the replacement generating station, also underground, where water will pass through the generating station and then back out into the Canberra River itself. So, InPower BC is working hard on the two underground portals on the south and north side of the penstocks and uh, it's going to be a fascinating project to see unfold. BC Hydro has a project agreement within Power BC that specifies many different things, so BC Hydro has an excellent facility for many years. And some of that includes construction techniques and things in place to protect the environment, to even control blasting. This facility is 67 years old, it's very sensitive to ground movements, so in Power BC has to provide very stringent blasting guidelines to protect this operating facility while they construct a replacement project. So with that in mind, let's go talk to our contractor and see what they've been up to. It's January 2015 and we're here with uh, our contractor in Power BC, Scott. Uh, thanks Stephen. On behalf of Empower, SNC-Lavalin and ASL-JV, it's a great pleasure to be part of this exciting project. Uh, since being awarded the project in the spring of 2014, our team has been working on the necessary safety and quality and environmental plans and design to allow us to start construction here in the summer and get us off to such a great start. An interesting part of this project is we installed a time-lapse camera on top of the existing search tower. Let's take a look at what we've been doing. Public and worker safety is very important and so there's things like step back programs and training that's required for all the various elements of this project so workers go home safe and sound to their families. Behind me is the vertical face of the south portal over 25 meters in depth. We're just about ready to start our underground excavation and mining works which will create a 6 meter by 6 meter tunnel which will take us to the top of the powerhouse. Right now we have over 100 tradespersons working on the project, over 80% are local. But it's not only the local direct hires that work on the project, we have a lot of opportunities for businesses in the community. For example, we're standing beside the ventilation pipe that's going to be going inside the tunnels and we've had local businesses and suppliers help us and assist us in fabricating components for this material. In Power BC has developed a very rigorous environmental program when it comes to things like water management on the site, spill containment on vehicles, to frog recovery programs. So these are the kind of things they're considering, so we have a very successful project. 